Let us now look into some of the jargons or the terminologies used in SAP HANA. When you work with models, you would often hear the word dimension. So what is a dimension? Dimension is nothing but a fancy term to call your master data. The company's assets like the materials, the business partners, the employees, the products, all those are the master data and they are known as dimensions. The master data table are actually your dimension tables. So if someone asks you what are dimensions, then you can say that the asset of the company which are the master data, those are the dimensions. Now what is KPI? So all your managers in the C-level meetings, they always talk about KPIs, dimensions, measures. So what is a KPI? The full form is Key Performance Indicator. So what are those? KPIs are nothing but the numbers. The profit that a company makes is a KPI. The loss that a company incurs is another KPI. So KPIs are nothing but the numbers. And when there are numbers, that means those are facts. So you cannot beat around the bushes. So when there is numbers, that means those are facts. So you either say we have 10% growth or you say 2% um, below the expected growth. Okay, so you cannot beat around the bushes saying that we might have uh, gained or we might have progressed. No, you have to say the numbers. We had a 10% growth this year. So that is a KPI. The total items sold by the company, those are KPIs. The total material purchased in the year, in a financial year or in a quarter, those are KPIs. The salary you give to your employee, those are KPIs. The bonuses you get, those are KPIs. So KPIs are measurable. And since KPIs are number which are measurable, they are often termed as measures. So dimensions are the master data, measures are the transaction data. So the measures tells us about the numbers. So I hope you can differentiate between the dimensions and the KPIs. The easy thing is dimensions are the assets uh, which are the master data while KPIs are the numbers which are the facts and it can be measured therefore it is also interchangeably called as measures. When you do some modeling you would always hear the term fact table. They will always say that join this dimension table with the fact table. So what is the fact table? So by now you must have identified it. Fact tables are nothing but the transaction table. That means the table where the measures or the KPIs or the numbers are stored that is known as fact table. The purchase order table, the invoice table, the delivery table, the sales table where you have the facts where you say that okay on day one we purchased 100 items. On day two, we sold like 90 items. So there are facts and the table which stores the fact is known as the fact table. So KO, PO, VBAK, VBAP, VBRK, VBRP, uh, LFA, L, no, the delivery tables, all those, those are fact tables. So dimensions are master data. KPIs are the measurable data, which are the transaction data and fact tables, the tables which saves the transaction data. Those are the transaction table or the fact tables. And we always do joins or uh, union of the dimensions and the facts to get to a KPI. Okay, with our understanding of dimension, KPI and fact, let's move forward. So in attribute views, we usually do the joins of the dimensions. That means you always join the material with the material text, vendor with the vendor names, so those are master data or the dimension data. So those are dimensions. So and the SAP's naming convention for attribute view is AT underscore. So those are attribute views. The analytical views is a combination of fact and the dimension. Fact means which are measurable. That means the transaction data and dimension means the master data. So the fact and the dimension together gives us the analytical view. And the naming convention is AN underscore. And as we discussed earlier, calculation view is for the union of two or more analytical views. They help us to do complex calculations and um, the naming convention is CV means calculation view underscore. 
and when there is a calculation view in picture the calculation engine gets triggered